Thanks for joining me. This is Mike Joseph for the Lafayette Sports Network here on Inside the Huddle. Today, we're going to talk about the Bucknell Bison. It's going to be a tough game. Bucknell struggling just like Lafayette is, but we're going to talk today about defensive back play. My favorite position on the field, a coach, uh, a coach for nine years here at Lafayette with the defensive backs. We're going to talk about stance and read. You got to be a good defensive back. You got to have a good stance. You got to stay low. You got to have your feet shoulder width apart, arms in good position, hands ready. Whether you're reading through the quarterback in zone or in man. You can't do both. A lot of defensive backs, they get in trouble when they read the quarterback and they read the man at the same time. In zone coverage, you can be playing the first front side quarter. You could be rolling and playing a third of the field. Or you could be squatting down and playing the flat area with the free safety over the top. So a lot of different zone coverages Lafayette's going to incorporate this week against Bucknell. If you read through the quarterback right here and you come out with a nice slow pedal, one, two, three, we call those read steps. Come out nice and slow, the quarterback opens his hips and you're getting some sort of stop, you got to be able to react, come up and tackle. If the quarterback goes back into a five step drop, you get into your pedal, you get position on your receiver, whether it's going to be inside or outside. So whether you're in zone or man, if you're in a man coverage, you got to have leverage, whether you're going to be inside leverage or you're going to be up in the bump and run. In a bump and run position, you want to make sure that you got shoulder width apart, you're nice and square. You can use a one hand jam, open your hips to the outside, a two hand jam, or you can use a two hand fake and bail. One of my favorite techniques was to line the guy's head up and do a little press and bail. You press with the outside arm and drop. You can play a third from there, you can play a quarter, you can play man to man, down on the goal line, same thing. Inside foot, bang, jam with the inside foot, force the man to the outside. So. Man-to-man -man rules versus zone rules. You gotta have great technique. Whether you're playing off man or bump and run, we got guys like Matt Smalley, Jared Roberts, and Philip Parham. What I believe, still three of the best in the league this week at Bucknell.